As an intervention teacher, I work with small groups or individual students to improve overall achievement in language arts, math, and science. As this school year approaches its end, I find that I am lacking a concrete way of measuring my direct impact on student learning, other than the student's overall achievement level. Finding an instructional tool which would also serve as an assessment tool with the added bonus of a way to record, organize, and interpret data would be a great benefit to my instruction and my students' progress. For this assignment, I will con concentrate on language arts reading. In our school district, we have a reading assessment and data program called STEP, Strategic Teaching and Evaluation of Progress. This comes from the University of Chicago. While the data end of this program involves the use of technology, the testing portion does not. It is done individually using a set of level books and an examiner's manual and materials. While this program assesses students, it is not used for instruction directly, but the data derived from the assessment is used to drive instruction. I would like to find a program which students use for learning but are assessed for progress at the same time. I will look at applications for an iPad because I'm interested in purchasing one of these for the use of my intervention program. I located an application called K-12 Timed Reading. It comes from K-12 Incorporated and it's about $1.99 on iTunes. This application tests reading fluency for students in K through fourth grade by using short timed stories. The application keeps track of the student's progress and can be used individually for multiple readers or whole class. The application helps students to improve fluency so that they can concentrate more on comprehension rather than decoding words. Comprehension is a real challenge for many students at my school. The app will suggest leveled readers The app will suggest leveled reading stories of fiction or nonfiction from over 250 titles. The iPad technology is ideal for small groups or individual students because it is lightweight and portable. Children are excited to work with newer technology. The iPad has been promoted as the best tablet technology available. The interface is intuitive and requires minimal preparatory instruction. The assessment drives instruction because the teacher is made aware of the reading fluency level and can therefore make instructional choices in the classroom to accommodate the student's reading level in order to push it higher. The student is not necessarily aware that he or she has, is being assessed. If you look at the um, interface, you see the home screen, and you're able to use the settings button to set up your students. Once you set your students up, they appear on a list on the home screen, and you just select each student to begin reading another story. The stories appear like this and you see that the text is nice and large. There are some simple controls which would be controlled on the iPad or iPhone by using the, the child's finger so they're quite easy to operate.
once a student has read a story, the data is stored on the list as the words per minute and the improvement of reading percentage. You also see the list of next stories that can be um, read. Or if you go back, there's the back button. When you start the program, it will start, start automatically at the next story. Computerized assessments are an improvement over paper and pencil assessments because multimedia can enrich the test delivery and expand the possibilities of assessment beyond just rote memory. While the cost of the app is minimal, $1.99, the cost of an iPad is much higher and may be cost preventative. Some of the critics of this app have stated that the reading selections do not include much variation in word forms and vowel sounds within the story. While the app is meant for primary grades, I would need another program or application to assess my 5th through 8th graders. Overall, though, I think this would be a nice addition to my instruction 